In December 1991, Chinese Air Force achieved aerial refueling operation for the first time. China becomes one of the countries developing this technology in the world. In the 1980s, Chinese military requested aviation industry to develop aerial refueling technology. At the time, more hostile activities emerged in South China Sea, as well as East China Sea. Chinese Air Force decided to add aerial refueling capability to the J-82 fighter to increase the range of fighter to cover faraway islands. South China Sea is a vast area, and there was a lack of large islands on which to build aviation bases. With improved J-82 fighter, Chinese Air Force and Navy aviation units can better defend China's interest. The development only took three years. The first refueling aircraft platform was the Y-10 airliner, which is very similar to Boeing 707. However Y-10 ceased development in 1980s, then H-6 bomber was chosen as the platform. Meanwhile refueling pods were imported from the UK, but it is unknown if UK provided design support. The project team managed to convert H-6 bomber into HY-6 refueling aircrafts. One major problem with H-6 bomber platform is that it cannot carry that much extra fuel, roughly it can provide 18 tons of fuel, barely meeting the requirement in a real air battle. At that time, the only fighter to receive fueling is J-82 fighter. In 1988, the modified J-82 fighter is given new name, the J-8DH-6 refueling aircraft is named HY-6, the later production model has a new nose with smaller windows for the navigator. In December 1991, after many failed attempts, test pilots successfully completed refueling for the first time. It is a major breakthrough for Chinese military. It is reported that J-82 fighter and HY-6 tanker are not ideal for this mission, they both have some flight performance and controlling issues making the process harder for the pilots. The new HY-6 tanker has been refit to support new communication navigation system and weather radar and devices to measure fighter jet distance. Two refueling pods are added to both wings, a long soft tube can be extended to connect with J-82 fighter. Later China also developed the naval H-6DU tanker, which further optimized the navigation and communication-related airborne equipment to meet the requirements of open ocean flight. Now, with the fast development of China's new generation of large transport aircraft platform, the Y-20, China is building Y-20 tanker variant. And most fighter jets in China are capable of aerial refueling, including J-10, J-11, J-15, J-16, and stealthy J-20 fighters. J-82 fighter family has two more refueling variants, J-8F and J-8H. Other than Y-20, it is reported China might use its C-919 and C-929 airliners currently under development to create new tanker variants. It will require refitting the airliners with all Chinese-made turbofan engines and avionics. It is expect before 2030 Chinese Air Force will start to receive the latest tankers based on domestically developed airliners. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news. Thank you.